No. Why does it hurt? Hi. I don't have enough money for chicken nugget. How's it going? My name is Ashley. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> Stop it. I pulled um, my inner thigh muscle uh, two seconds ago. <laughs> Feel uncomfortable. What did the, the... What? Welcome to my kitchen. So much bigger than my old place's kitchen. I have an actual kitchen here. I mean, my oven. I don't. I didn't really show my kitchen in my studio apartment that I lived in. I don't even really have an oven. Look at that oven. That's an oven. And this is a nice big stove. And it's electric. Gas stoves give me anxiety. I, I was always so certain I was gonna burn down my building anytime I use my stove. That's not normal, I'm aware. I really like the kitchen here because like I said, I actually have one. My microwave, a lot bigger than the one I had before. The studio apartment didn't give me a microwave so I had to get a microwave because I cannot not use a microwave. Yeah, I use a microwave every single day. Even if I'm not microwaving food, I have like a bean bag thing that I microwave, like a heating pad. I got like a bump on my tongue. Sorry, that's distracting me. I get a lot of aches and pains. So pro tip, heat helps. I feel like everyone knows that. The only thing that's so annoying about my microwave, just wait. Yep, that's that. It's so annoying. My last microwave used to go beep, beep. Beep. And I thought that was annoying. I left things in my microwave overnight a lot of times because it didn't give you like a warning beeping like some microwaves. Do. It will like wait 10 seconds and be like, hey, you left your food in the microwave. Like, okay. <laughs> I know. Stop yelling at me. Look at my cupboard space. That was one good thing about my last cupboard. There was a lot of storage. I can't really complain about the storage. I mean, the cupboards were a lot uglier, dirtier looking. These are pretty nice material. There we go. Wood. Wood. My last one, I don't know what was wrong with it. They look disgusting. And then the drawers here, they're clean. My last one, I wouldn't put anything in my drawers unless I had like a towel down or something. I had little like containers that I put things in. Or like, you know, for my silverware, I have a silverware divider in there. I just became really blurry. Hello? I just dropped scissors. <laughs> Can you focus, camera? Hello? Like, what the frick are you focusing on? That was really weird. Um, I dropped scissors. Yeah. And I got a nice sink. Don't mind the dishes over here. Just don't. Don't look at that. And I like how it's divided into two, because then I can have, like, one side to put my dishes, and then the other side I can still have open for, like, getting water and stuff. Hi, I'm still here. Because what used to happen was I would put... Nope. <laughs> I would put my dishes in the sink and then when I would want to get water, I couldn't because there were so many dishes in my sink. I feel like I do dishes every single day and yet I always have dishes in my sink. I sound very old. <laughs> they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. My sink! But like, look. Look at that. They actually gave me a new one now, so it, it doesn't do that. It's just a normal thing. It just like comes right off. It's like, it's in the faucet thing. get it where I want. I don't know where I want it. I don't know what I want. Sorry, I had a moment. Agui. What the flip is water in Spanish? It's like agui. Agua. Agua. I'm pretty sure that's right. Agua. I took Spanish. I'm basically fluent. Talented, brilliant. Cats, gato, perro, leche, tu, yoy, ella, el, ustedes, nosotros, Ah, uh, incredible, amazing. In, on, you know, I know those in Spanish, so I'm basically fluent if I was like a kindergartner. Show stopping, spectacular. I have some cat treats up here. 
I know what you're asking. What the hell was this video actually? My mind is blank. College is getting to me. I have three assignments due this Friday. I am dead inside. Did you plan this? Did you plan this school board? You're stressing me out. Stop staring at me. You're making me nervous. I'm not back in the flow. I want to make YouTube videos again. Getting into a flow of something that you haven't done so long is such a weird thing. And then trying to make time when I'm in college and trying to live my life and trying to find happiness. To be completely honest, I don't know who I am yet. I mean, when I first started college, I changed so much. And I was like, I know who I am now. And then freaking COVID happened. Then we were all sent home. And then my sophomore year, I don't even remember it. I wasn't even here after that home the whole time. And then now here I am as a junior. No knowing what the frick is even going on anymore. Um, I wanted to slow down, but I'm also like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. You want to graduate. Graduation is so great. Woo! And, like, and then you're done with school. Whether you're in high school, college, or frickin' in elementary school graduation is the destination it's the goal whenever you do anything you're always looking at the goal we do a lot of things for a goal you know like eating breathing goal is surviving you do homework assignments usually for your goal of getting a good grade in class for passing the class for being able to graduate schooling so graduation is one of those goals but then it's like once you get to it especially in college even like in high school my bad even in high school school once you graduate it's the same thing as when you graduate college it's like this uh now what situation like you're so focused on getting to graduation you want to get done you want to be done with it but then once i graduate i need plans i need to know what the frick i'm doing and i don't know that's why i'm so scared i don't even know what career i would want to do i don't want to be a teacher that scares me i don't feel like i'm really good with anyone over the age of like three my favorite age is one-year-olds not babies not newborns they scare me toddlers scare me preschool i'm terrible it's like what job can you do not being a daycare teacher they do not get enough credit they probably get paid less than a freaking teacher does <laughs> COVID really smacked me in the side of the head and ever since then I've been feeling so <laughs> you ever have days like that where you just want to scream and then sometimes you don't even know why you just want to scream but sometimes it helps I've had some days where I literally just took my pillow and I screamed into it and it really hurt my throat But I felt so much better afterwards a couple days ago. It was pouring out. So I laid down in the rain I've been seeing TikToks of it and it's been something I'm like, why does that look like so much fun? So I freaking did it. I put on some crappy pants, threw on a rain jacket and ran outside and just laid on the muddy ground and <laughs> I laid in the rain. Of course, it was like four degrees out, so I got kind of cold. But I thought it was gonna feel better, but it honestly just felt like someone was dumping water on my face. Maybe it was raining too hard. Maybe it wasn't raining hard enough. But after I laid in the rain, I also splashed in some puddles. And I had Crocs on, so they immediately got my feet soaking wet. The water was so cold. Oh my god. I stood in it for like two seconds. I'm like, oh my god, this is so fun. And then immediately after two seconds, my feet were frozen. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get out. It wasn't that cold out, but it was cold. I did it anyways, and guess what? I had so much fun afterwards. I was outside maybe like 30 minutes, and, and then when I came back in, because was, I was freezing, I literally couldn't feel my feet or my hands anymore. I felt so different. I, I wanna say I felt happy. Like, I felt, I, I've been happy. I mean, I don't know if I've really been necessarily happy. I just haven't been like sad. And this simple thing of literally just playing in the rain, I came in and I felt happy. I couldn't stop smiling. I felt like I was kind of floating. I came in soaking wet. Such a childish thing to do, playing in the rain. And I felt so silly and stupid, but yet it made me happy to feel that way. Like, I don't know if any of this makes sense. I feel like as adults especially, we're so focused on adult things and paying bills and going to a job and take care of our kids that we forget that sometimes we need to be kids. You know, being a kid isn't just like doing childish things or playing with toys. You can do kind of kiddish things, coloring, the rain, building sandcastles, digging in the sand. Why are these kid things? I mean, adults can do that too. And maybe it was just me being an early childhood major and clearly a child that heart because I want to work with kids and I'm around kids a lot so I get to experience some of these things. I played with Orbeez sometimes in the classroom with the kids if we have Orbeez. Orbeez are so much fun. Why don't we make Orbeez seem like it's not just for kids to do? Play-Doh. Play-Doh is so much fun to play with but not to eat. But it, it's such a kid thing. It almost makes adults not want to do those things because they'll be looked at as childish or immature because it's a child thing. Like you don't do that. That's for little kids. There's no rules for that. I mean and think about when people used to entertain themselves back then. 
people used to do kiddish things now when they were like 17 because that's all you could do. There was no Xbox, there was no phones. And, and I'm not saying we need to live in older times. I mean, there's a lot of things nowadays that are very beneficial. And honestly, a lot of things like when my parents talk about what they did, I would not do right now. I'm not saying, hey, let's all go back to the 1980s because it's such a great time. Like some things weren't great and we can read them in the past and we've made great inventions. I don't know what I would do without my laptop or my phone, but just because we have those great inventions doesn't mean we can't do some things from the past. Some days it's okay to not be on your phone all the time and to go jump in a puddle. I mean, we still gotta enjoy like nature and stuff in our world and these are things in our world and part of nature. Rain is nature. Building things like forts and stuff, that's just using nature. You don't have to be a kid to do that. So anyways, that's my rant. <laughs> I really, really love my kitchen. Sponsored by Aquafina. <laughs> Woo, no, I'm just kidding. I need to start just filming shit. Even if it's a vlog or some kind of rant, it's still a video out and I can feel proud of myself. At this point, I'm just making stuff for myself because I love watching my own videos, which sounds very selfish. Um, but you gotta make things that you love too because if you don't, then what's the point? Like people that make things that are just like trending or popular right now because they know they'll get a lot of views. Would you really sit down and watch that whole 20 minutes of the video you just made? Probably not. Just saying. If you make a video and you can't even watch the whole thing, eh, maybe you should rethink that video. Same thing if you make like some kind of art, some kind of craft, and you look at it and you'd be like, mm, I wouldn't even buy that. You gotta love your own stuff. My camera decided to stop recording. Sorry, that probably was really loud. Sorry to mainly future, Ashley. I was very close, and I know this thing picks up sound very easily. Like, I'll just put something down on the counter, and it will sound like that to me, but on the camera, it'll be like, boom! And then I can't even use any of the recording of what I was saying in the video. I've also noticed I've been looking at the viewfinder a lot in this video, and that's one thing I really, really struggle with. There's a... So, this was a video that I made showing off my amazing kitchen. I also got these nice curtains. You know, they're not all the way down, and then they have, like, the nice design. And look at the lights up there. They're so pretty. Things are updated here. Some of the rooms are weird. Like, I literally have a chair in my dining room. See, there's my chair. Kind of weird, I know, but we ran out of room. Hey, got a selfie stick. That might be my thumbnail. We'll see. I'm doing a split. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show this. Maybe I'll move it closer to it. Oh, my sock got wet. But normal. Retry. Hi there. Person up there. They have their Christmas lights up. Like I'll just sit here like this with my legs up. Okay, I have Harry Potter stuff so on too. In case you were wondering. And look at my window. There's something about like sitting up on your counter that's so nice. Anyone know why? What's in my cupboard? <coughs> why did I almost just fall? Like straight forward. We got cups. And there's a cutting board up here. Look at this nice cup I got from Barnes and Noble. No, Barnes and Noble is right back from Pro. Bam, bam, books a million. This was on sale. This was like in a clearance section for like 50% off. Heck yeah. I think it's so cute. And you're not supposed to put it on the microwave, fun fact. And I actually did one time. This do not microwave. I was reheating up my hot cocoa. So I'm just gonna zap it for like 10 seconds. And while it was in there, like sparks were kind of flying. The glass was kind of like lighting up. And I immediately turned off the microwave. And I hadn't walked away yet, thank goodness, because I feel like I definitely would have blown it up. But fun fact, that's why you're not supposed to put it in the microwave. Oh, I have no idea what this video was. Honestly, I just have the most fun with the randomest videos. I have no plan and I just go and I just talk. Um, if you hate that, I understand that. But if you watched this whole thing and you actually enjoyed some of the things I said or agreed, I'm glad. I'd be happy to share some more, but hopefully the videos in the future will actually have more of a purpose to them. I have some ideas. I'm gonna do like crafting videos. The most fun videos I had made were like when I made the gingerbread house and when I like cooked eggs. So like I have ideas to like do more cooking maybe incorporate people into videos. I'm really into paranormal stuff. That would be really fun. Throwing out ideas. Things I have said would be really fun and I hope that can happen. When I say like paranormal things, I don't even know what the frick that means. If you're into ghosts, let me know. And I don't mean like into them, like just like if you like ghosts. Oh, Enjoy ghost related things. I don't like that either. Anyways, I need to end this video right now. This has definitely been way too long. Too much for me to edit. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>
not really hurt my bottoms. Bye! scares the crap out of me. Anytime I walk into the kitchen at night, I see my reflection and every single time I think someone's outside my door.